Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? You know what I just realized? What's Never you realize. I know you always stop the song at a certain spot, but I love the way how you stop it because you stop it at in no other podcast like this. No, I already know that. I'm a, I I'm love in the it. Intro I like this. Y'all don't understand, man. When I did this, oh, just me coming into it, you know, of course the beautiful wife is here, Bubba Dub. We got Bubba Dub on the set anyway, so we <laughs> is number one. But let me keep going. Uh, when, when I did this, you know, EXO did the song. When she came in with it, it was like, name another podcast like this. I stop it right there. First of all, ain't nobody got no damn intro. I'm the only I just I come in jamming. That's no, my, no, no. They got intro. They not got like intro, but not, not like this. this. That's, yeah, that's no. the thing. What's up, Bubba Dub? <laughs> intro. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Exo, man. But boy, we come in there, don't we? Hey, y'all in now? So yeah. Name another podcast like y'all call me. Y'all name it. Call me from Atlanta. Uh, he would he call me. Say, man, don't ever change that intro. I said, what the hell is wrong with this? He said, don't ever change that intro, man. That hoe goes so hard. I was like, You Damn. know, but what I'm curious to do, because XO finna write another one. She is. I want to see if she can top this no, one. I don't think so. It's going to be hard. It's hard. That it's hoe. She hard. might can top it. I don't know. It's just like movies. You know, coming to America. And then they tried to come back and do coming to America too. It didn't go right. <laughs> no, because she did. She did Unique Hustle file. But it wasn't like this one. <laughs> Bro, when she sent me this, I didn't even listen to it. I listened to it one time and wouldn't call her back. She thought I didn't like it. I knew that was awesome. Yeah. I, I just started laughing. You remember that day? Yeah, I, remember. I was like, this is hard. I knew it, bro. Mm -hmm. I said, that's the song. That's when you know you know. Yeah. Like, that's that one right there. I knew the beat was fire. But when I gave her that beat and she went and did that song and sent it back, I said, it's, all it's time to do boss talk. Fat. <laughs> Fat. Bubba, how you doing, man? Great, great. Man, you all great. out the country, man. Like, you was out the country, country. Like, I, you know, I went to Jamaica. Shout out to my wife. She done took me to the country, out the country. I went out the country with her, but the way you went. Oh, was that God. your first it, time out of country? Yeah, yeah. And you went that big the first time? Yeah, that's the only way to do the it. The money team. This nigga hard, man. All the way. Yeah. Man. He with the money team. You got the Okay, head. okay, okay. Uh -huh. So You got the head. I got everything. Damn, what? So, I got you one. You got me one? Yeah. Oh, it's up. Yeah. So, so what, tell me something that stood up. Because I remember when I took him to Jamaica, right? Picked him up at the airport. The first thing that blew his mind was when he went into the car, saw the steering wheel on the opposite side of the car. Got the steering wheel over here. He was, he was over out. here. You know, it's a wooden beat. Much less driving on the opposite side of the road. Yeah. What but was the thing that stood out to you the most? The thing that stood out to me the most in Dubai was... When you first got there. When I first got there, I didn't see no homeless people. None? None. On the, on the street no, at all? No. Maybe it's because of the area that you were in. I went all over. For real? I still ain't seen no homeless Okay, people. did you see the ghetto area for over there? Because everybody have a ghetto area. Everybody got a ghetto area. Most so their ghetto area, what was it like? Different from my ghetto area. Explain their ghetto area. Like, it ain't no trash over there on the roads. So what they call a ghetto? Was it mainly black folks living there? No. No. Not so mainly black folks, no. So no. why they call it the ghetto area? What was I it that made just, it? I think they're just a stigma we use in America, just the word ghetto. It got to be black people would think. You know, if it's a ghetto, it means it's black people. No? That's all it means. No. Yeah, because Jamaica, we don't call it ghetto. We just call that, that's the, the hood. The hood. Really what it is. I know some white hoods. <laughs> <laughs> they call that trash uh, trailer trash, trailer, trailer trash. park trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got a different name for it. It's still the ghetto. Still the ghetto. So over there, because when I look on Instagram or Facebook and I think about Dubai, I see beautiful, like everything in Dubai is nice. Correct. Is that how it is? Do you have like ordinary houses there? Do you have like what? What is describe it? Well, you know, when I'm over there, you know, I'm with the money team. So, Ooh, so you don't wait a minute. Wait that. a minute. That nigga say, well, you know, when I'm over there, I ain't, I'm with the damn money team. Just being real, you know, rolling with them, you seeing the best of the best. Mm -hmm. you Did you ride a camel? Them, everything. You rode a camel? We, camel, we in the dungeons. What the hell? What is In the sand, I mean, in, 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 in the desert. Did you put on that outfit with the, the, the turban? The turban and, and all that. This nigga show up with the money team. Nigga just, I have, yeah, I, how did that I could imagine just getting, well, let me say this first, because this is this my boy right here. He called me and said, nigga, what's up? I'm leaving. I said, where you going, my nigga? That, I'm at the football game. I done got nervous like I'm going. You remember? What the, <laughs> 
<laughs> you you know how nigga, you know, when, when Celie started getting dri when Celie went on color purple uh -huh. and she was headed to go back out and do her dancing and stuff, and 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 you know, Whoopi couldn't go, but she was excited Tight, yeah. and she got dressed and stuff, and when she left, yeah. she fell out. That's the way I did. When that nigga left, I just fell out. I said, damn. Cause that night he ended up in the car. I can tell you, because I seen him. Now I know you niggas want to hear him. You would talk. think that he was there to wear how he was going. Oh, I was happy, boy. I was happy for my boy. That's yes. what he's supposed to be. He would talk time. about it. He talked, he told everybody. Man, when Bubba Dub was leaving, he called he me. He called me, nigga. Man. He gone. Facts. Facts. <laughs> so tell us about it. How it happened. I, I, every, you talking about the Dubai just, trip no, or the just first thing with Floyd. The Floyd. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm in um I had a show. I'm in North Carolina. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I'm in North Carolina. I have a show. Um, one of my, the artists I had on the show with me, uh, they backed out. Okay. They called me last minute. They couldn't make it. Damn. So I had to tell the host, because uh, he normally could do 15 minutes. Yeah. I asked him, could he do 30? Damn, mm. that's good stuff. He did 30 for me. I did an hour and 30 minutes that night. Ooh. And you normally do how long? 45 to 50. Nigga took it there. Okay. Um, because the reason why I had to take it there because a lot of people don't know a lot of like the comedy clubs they have a lot of people who order their food. Okay. And you know if I go up there and do thirty minutes, they still ain't got they ain't got paid. That's right. That's, you don't think about you that. Have to give them no, time. I don't. You think have to about give them time it. to come back and get the check. That's real. Right. So I was like, you know what? I'm a, I'm a rock this out. Like, I'm gonna rock it this long. So I'm you just you. figure that out, or do do like the comedy time. show tell you this is what you got to do because this is this and this no, and this? Or no. you just figure it out? I, for I just know how it rock. I just know okay. how it go. Okay. Because just two of us, it ain't three or four. Mm -hmm. So it was a two man team. That's hard. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it 100 with y'all. Um, I can get the money I was supposed to get. The people who made the contract, they, they signed some other kind of deal mm. where it had to, uh, you had to have a certain amount of uh, people at the show. Okay. To, to get a bonus. To get a bonus. So you was, didn't have a full show that night? No, it was like maybe like 85 people. No okay. Need 100. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I didn't get my money. I was mad about that because it was a waste of a trip. Yeah. Like I yeah, don't yeah. leave out the house for a certain amount of money when it comes to shows. No, that's respect. So when you said the people who signed the contract, so you have a team that signed your own, you don't have to no, sign no, a contract no. they, they, for you. It was a deal with, with, with the comedy club. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, it goes with learning the business mm -hmm. now. So now from now on out, I'll, I'll make sure I look at that contract. Right. You better. Like, like nah. Like, you better before you waste time. your time. But this how guy at work. I didn't make the money I was supposed to make, right? But you get it in the back end. So I go back to the room. And I'm going through my phone. I'm upset, cussing. Yeah. Talk to my homeboy. It's a bullshit, man. <laughs> my, fucking over me, man. I'm sick of this bullshit. I'm bubble dude. <laughs> Fuck wrong with them. Mm -hmm. Get look on my phone, IG. I see a lot of people saying at Floyd Mayweather. I'm like, what the fuck they saying at Floyd for? This is my pay. Floyd ain't on my street. <laughs> under, and this is under a post that you had yeah, posted. Yeah. What was the post that you posted? It was just, it was just a video about the Lakers. Like, yeah. like a normal okay. skit I do. Yeah. Okay. I go and look. It's Floyd Mayweather. Check your DM. Damn, I got to, let me let me stop. This one. <laughs> you know, I'm you in that hole. You, you hurried up and checked it. You, you hey. hurried up and checked it. Because I thought it was fake. Because mm. people get hacked all the That's time. Right. So I'm not getting excited. Mm -hmm. Like, miss some bullshit, some old fake shit. Yeah. So I go and check my DM. Sure enough, it's some numbers in there. To Ooh. call and reach. Hey, like, hey, um, this is Floyd Mayweather. This is my assistant. This and that. Um, call this number. And, um. I got some things I need to say to you. <clears throat> so I called the number. You know, me quick than the quick, motherfucker. Yeah, What's up, nigga? Right. <laughs> the Lakers on TV. And he got. Oh, he at the game. So I called. And he answered why no, no, he was no, at the no, game. No, I was about no, to no, say. Just a second. The, 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 the assistant manager, her name is Keech. Mm -hmm. She answered the phone. She said, hey, Bubba Doug, Floyd, want to meet you, this and that. I'm like, y'all at the game? She's yeah. like, yes. She's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Halftime. I'm going to take him his phone. He's going to FaceTime you. So I, I told everybody I knew, don't call me. <laughs> Floyd finna call don't me, goddamn. Man, it was about five minutes later, Floyd called. Damn. FaceTime. What's up, Bubba Dude? What's up, bro? And he was like, hey, man, you a funny motherfucker. <laughs> I really fuck with you. He said, uh, this is what he said. He said, I'm going to bring you to Dubai with me. Mm. That's the first time you get, I'm going to bring you to Dubai. I want you to come and take my fight. He already knew. I'm like, damn. Then yeah. his manager got on the phone. And he was like, uh, yeah, give me your number, this and that. 
give me your details. And I gave him my details. And Floyd was like, I'm going to hit you after the game. Well, I, I didn't talk to Floyd after the game. I talked to his manager. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The manager called. Gave, I gave him all my information. Hell yeah. Card, yeah. Whatever, whatever, you whatever you need. What else you need? Whatever you need. So you didn't have a passport at this time yet? Yeah, I had it. Oh, you already I had, had one? I got my passport three weeks prior. Oh. You see that's how God works? That's how God works. That's that's how God 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 work. Work. Do you hear me? Oh, my. So, so the manager hit me up. He said, Bubba Duh, he, he's, he's Jewish. That's hard. <laughs> that's hard. He's Jewish. You got to do what you got to do. No, I'm he's Jewish. So, you know, all this other shit going on. All this other shit going on. He's Jewish. So, he was like, oh, right so he was like uh, I don't really know how to tell you this, Bubba Doug, but I'm going to go ahead and be transparent with you and let you know this. Congratulations. I said, on what? He said, you hit the lottery, my friend. God, damn. He said, Floyd don't never DM nobody. You handpicked. Mm. He fuck with you like that. He really mm. want to help you. So, how did you feel at that time when he said that? Like, this shit ain't real. Like, it's gonna be some fuck shit. That's what I was thinking. Floyd yeah, gonna reach out, way. fuck with me for a day, and yeah. then go on about his business. That's what I thought. Right. So the next morning, you know, I'm going back home to Texas. I'm in North Carolina. But before you get to that, cause you know when you're excited, who is the first person you picked up the phone and call and be like, my baby? And what, what did she oh, say? Woman. She was like, she, she was, was screaming. She, she was stunned. Like, you lying. I'm like, I showed her the, I know, you know me. You I got to see. Yeah, I showed her. Yeah, look, 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 look. She was like, damn. It's up. It's up. <laughs> but once again, I feel so good about once it. again, I done been around niggas. I know not right. to get excited. Too excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and you it's told her, baby, that's the best way. Let's see yeah. what it is. But the next morning, I'm driving to the airport. This nigga Floyd FaceTime me. Again. Again. Mm. And just start just talking to me about certain shit, about life in general, and about how I'm here for a reason. Damn. And he was like, man, you, I'm fucking with you because it's God, bro. So That's I don't give people DMs and reach out. But some, some made me reach out to you. And he I, said that exact words. Yeah. You see the reason why I said ask you that? Because I love people who love God. Man. So for the main thing that he just mentioned, God, I love that. And not only that, I got my bags. I'm <laughs> leaving. And I'm on my way to the airport. And he talking about God. It's all Bro, intervention. I'm heading home to Texas. I ain't been home in a week. Oh, you I've ain't been, been home. Yeah, week. this is you, you when you going home. Yeah, from that event. Oh, he damn. said, where you going? I said, I'm going to go home. He said, no, you ain't. You going to Vegas. Damn. I'm going to fly you out. So he had to buy your ticket he from where you at right now. No, no, I know that, but from where you at? Damn. So you were on your way to the airport. He said, I'm going to buy you what airport you are. I'm going to buy you from there to Vegas. And the only reason why he had to buy my ticket because his, his jet was getting maintenance. Otherwise, he would have flew it to me. Mm. That's how serious she was. Wait a minute. The, the jet, now, this is a whole different type of conversation. Niggas ain't getting on boss talk talking about the jet wasn't fueled up. So he didn't even go send the jet to come get me. But uh, yeah, uh, I just took the plane. Man, come on, my nigga. Bro, this I, is hard. So man. I just flew there, right? This is hard. So when I, when he, so I had to come to Houston and then fly out to Vegas. Yeah. I get to Vegas. I call him. They sent the driver to pick me up. The driver. I'm thinking I'm going to the room because he get, you know, he get free rooms in GM for life. Damn. Mm. So I'm thinking I'm going to MGM, drop my bags off, and go holler at him. No, he made them drive me straight to the boxing gym where he was at. Mm. He had the gym. Me not knowing all his people around, I already know who I am. They already know. They already rock with me like that. So as soon as I come in, they start looking and coming over. He training. He stopped what he doing, come over, and gave me dap. Like, you Mm. heard, you heard. Don't worry about nothing. Damn. Then he started saying, trash. (laughs) He started going in. Oh, so he's training. We get ready to go outside. He go and run ten miles. Mm. No, I'm in the car. I, no, we driving behind. We run ten miles. He's like, I'm gonna go to the house. I'm gonna go to the palace. That's what he call it. Damn. I'm gonna go to the palace, palace. Take a bath. You go take a bath. I'm gonna send my driver to get you. So, like an hour pass. Uh, the driver come get me. Say, it's, it's funny how the message pop up. Yeah. The assistant like, hey, Bubba Dub, Floyd is ready for you at the palace. He bring you to the big house. Ooh. So. I love the organization. I love the way how they're organized. They structure. I love they structure. structure. They putting right. on like a motherfucker for me. They put, and I I'm loving it. it. And I'm fucking loving it. So ain't nobody never need it like this, really. We go to his house. It's like certain big gates you got to get through to get That's to this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. He got a bank vault door of gold. What? His front door. So you just ain't walking in his house. You got to put on little slippers. Yeah, yeah. Walk in. 
I seen that on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's you know, it. Like, you know, he's slow. He, right. And I find, you know, he's a little short guy, you know. Yeah. He's shorter than you? Yeah. That short? No, we might be the same. About the same, right? About the same, right? We, you were with me. I, I met him in Vegas. He about the same, No, right? I seen We I, met him I, in I Vegas. I never met him. We were at the Palms Hotel. And I was at the table, and you see him walking through with a whole bunch of people, and I'm the type of person like this. Oh. If a celebrity walk in, I'm not gonna be that groupie gonna be running over there. I'm gonna watch just you. I'm just gonna look. Yeah. But. No, we seen him again. Oh, you I wasn't with see, me. I wasn't with you. That was when me and uh, I think it was all us was there. He, remember, I got the autograph for, mm-hmm. for uh, Malachi. Yeah. We have the autograph for the shop. That came from me meeting him. Okay. And I know what size he is, but I ain't never been on no, I didn't get to go nowhere with that nigga. <laughs> like, they had a whole boxing ring at the Magic. I didn't get to go nowhere, but I sure wish that nigga would have said, I didn't know no jokes or nothing. Do you hear me? I'm in that whole you butt naked. You trash. I could I didn't have a trash or nothing. I ain't have nothing but a, hey, man, uh, I like what you do all that. Man, come on. That nigga don't want to hear that. That nigga want to hear them. <laughs> nigga, that nigga want to hear some jokes or something around this. Whole, so let's get to it. So, we, so we go in there. I go into the house or whatever. And he comes out, um, got his little bag with him, and uh, he's like, man, I made some money today. You know, that's what they do on the games and shit. So he go and pull out 250000 cash it's like nothing. it ain't nothing. And second over by me, I immediately moved from it. <laughs> yeah, I would do the same thing. I bet he landed. What the hell? What is this nigga doing? Because I'm quiet. He yeah. don't know that side of he me. He didn't know. He want me to be like I am on the video. I video. know what he wanted. That's, that's what not niggas me. Think. That's not me. I have to know you to show you that side right. of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It ain't so me. But he want me to just it show out. It ain't not give me no. that. No. I don't do that. So he like, you know what? He took me down to his swimming pool. He opened up the garage and showed me them cars. I remember you took pictures of that. He I said, you got it. your phone? He said, yeah. He, he said, I'm going to go. Do you? Mm. What? Say, do you? Mm. I, he left and I did me. I made the video. <laughs> woo the woo. And um, went outside. It's like, it's a, the house so big, you can get lost at this shit. Hell mm. yeah. You have like an east wing and a west wing and all it's that. going down. All that shit. All that shit. So I'm I'm taking pictures, walking around this mother, you know, just talking shit. Yeah, yeah. Man, this shit so hard. I ain't never seen no shit like this. And you know, Floyd, like in due time, you're going to have this shit. Trust me, I'm fucking put some plays together where you gonna have this shit. That's what, I, that's, what I, that's what I'm here for. Damn. Is to help you. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for to help you, my brother. So we sitting up chopping it up. You know, he know he got his own um, nightclub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A do. Lagos, you know, nightclub. Yeah, mm. I know, I know exactly mm. where so, I said. So, so. At his house? Where? No, 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 in, no, no, in, no. Vegas. in Vegas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, 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 the girls collection. Yeah, I remember, I remember. The girls collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know about it? So we, uh... He had the Rolls Royce pull up front. You know, he gonna drive them cars. No. So we get, you know, me, I'm being, I'm a gentleman. Mm-hmm. You know, he had, he have a, I always have a masseuse with him. He always get massaged. Yeah. So, you know me, I'm finna jump up front with the, with the driver. Mm-hmm. He like, nah, you riding the back with me. We vibe. Yeah. You know, she can get up there or whatever. Uh-huh. That and nigga showing you love. He want to just, yeah. Rock out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Show me shit. Yeah, rock out. So I'm, I'm looking at the stars. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's bling, bling, bling everywhere. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He's seeing that, but he's seeing how humble and grateful I am. Because I kept saying thank you. He's like, nigga, that's enough. <laughs> you supposed to be him, nigga. Yeah, yeah. you fucking have this. So we have a good time. We up in there. We know he got strippers and stuff and stuff yeah. like mm-hmm. that. You know, I'm just chilling. And he's like, man, you going to get a dance? I was like, man, I'm going to get a dance. I don't really gonna care about strip clubs mm-hmm. like that. I was like, I'm going to go take an ATM, get some money, throw a couple five hundred dollars. I ain't tripping. Yeah. He's like, no, the fuck you ain't. And I got my club. When he gave me $20,000. Mm-hmm. And I throw it. Mm-hmm. Like, 20 bands like it was shit. Ass. Like it was shit. And you threw it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Threw it all. This is club. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man, they were kicking it. They'd be happy when he come in there. I threw that shit like it wasn't nothing. We kicked it for a while. That's when I did the video in the car. Yeah, you know, yeah, I remember yeah, that. I, I, I saw that Keep video. in mind, I don't know Floyd. So I have just, to, I'm trying to figure him out. I don't want to pull my phone out on some groupie right. shit. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, let's yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what he want. But I love the fact when you said that he left you with the cars and he said, do you. So he want that from that moment on, but out of respect, you still want to ask, man, can I, yeah, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I always, I, it's like, hard, man. like skipping to it, we in Dubai, when, and I'm gonna talk about the video when people was like, oh man, you look uncomfortable. You got to understand when he got off the stage where we was at, he was walking with everybody. It's like yeah. 500 people coming and swarming to get an interview. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here I am with my camera. I don't know if I can record this or not yet. 
Yeah. So when he seen me, I put my phone down. He stopped everybody. I said, what the fuck, fuck you doing? I'm like, I didn't know if I could record. Hell yeah, you can fucking record. Yeah. 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 And that's when he was like, they can't stop us. And that's yeah. why because everybody had that lights on me. So yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. was saying like you looked uncomfortable. No, mm -hmm. it wasn't like I was looking uncomfortable. I'm just trying to be respectful right. and see what I can and can't can do. Yeah, yeah, you you trading. You trying to figure this out. That's what, what you call manners. Yeah, exactly. Man, that's hard. So um, but with Floyd, it just say your day to day, you know, you with Floyd, you walking around, he don't like pictures like that. I know, because they, they tell us at the hotel. They hotels. do that all the time. I seen the nigga. Yeah. But we was at the uh, apartment, like she said, they wasn't, and we weren't trying to take pictures, but I seen them checking other niggas about taking pictures. But, and people will follow him. They'll you just see like a drone of people that's following. Yeah. He walking and people that's following him. Let me tell you a funny story right quick. So we leave his house. He won like 180000 We finna go pick that up. Damn. So we, we, but you know, he got the driver with drivers. It's just me, him, and two of his assistants. So we go in there. The fans started going crazy. He like, you know, this Floyd man thing, calm down. <laughs> Stop this shit, calm down. So we walk and I'm like, I know this nigga ain't fucking going to pick up this money. What a bodyguard is that? Cause he mm -hmm. normally got bodyguards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Floyd is a different type of nigga. He already had people there. They already there. In position. So when we get there getting the money, he want me to record him getting his money. A fan come out with his phone. Not knowing, cause I seen another dude, he a street dude. So I'm like, Shit, did we fucking get robbed? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga come up and take the phone from old boy, make him delete the video. Mm. Three yeah. three dudes, but they were sitting down. I seen when we come in like they were regular dudes, like they just blend in. Yeah, but when Floyd got that money in his hand, they were right there on us. Like, mm. Nigga, please don't take that picture. You wrong and for the that. Nigga. Life, Dub, you lead the way. Let's go, champ. Damn. Mm. We walking out, people start screaming, start running up. I like the way how he do that because you don't ever know who he has around man. him because the way how they blend in, you don't know. You ain't touching that. him. You ain't man, touching him. God, man, man, God. I love that. That's, that. Hey, that's good stuff, man. For you to get, to, for you to be able to be, uh, you know, show favor like that. I call it favor because yeah. favor ain't fair. Fact. You know, he picked who he want to pick. He could have picked anybody. Mm -hmm. But he sees something God done showed him in Bubba Dub. Mm -hmm. And I think that's hard, man. Like, like, it's so many people that, 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 that got out. You deserve it. Nigga, I know you. That's his so word. You the That's type, his you word. Deserve it, That's his bro. word. He tell me, man, you right. deserve this shit, bro. No, I'm serious. I, because I'm watching, and the way you are, man, you ain't did nobody. No injustice. You pure with the comedy. And I'm just being real. From my observation, what I see, man, is love. So why not? Because of why how wouldn't humble it be you are. Though? He very and, humble. And, you know, when I first realized that you were humble, yeah, this was, yeah, we meet you and you quiet. You're a very quiet person and stuff like that, very observative. But the part that always touched my soul is the first time we came and watched you perform. And that night when I saw you tear up. Here we go. I can't forget that. I'm sorry because not everybody. Some people be like, yeah, I did that. Everything is on me. No, on me. You, I did that. that. I did, 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 did it. But the main fact that you tear it up. It show how much humility you have and how much love you have for, for what people, you do and yeah. for your people. Yeah. And that, that's for me. Some people could see that and not get that from it. No, but that's I what it. I I've got from it. it. But you at know the what end I mean? of the day, and, it, and it's genuine, so it ain't nothing pre-staged. And then we, you know, you got to understand, man, this is something that who would think that even me, you know, being where we come from, mm -hmm. who would, we would be even put in these situations. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the cold part for me. When I when I see it through him, he, and he younger than me. So I'm like, hell yeah, you know, what I might not be able to accomplish, this nigga going to do it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got, like, even you and Peter talk, they, you know, people uh, just tell me, like, bro, you got to embrace this shit. This shit don't happen every no, day, bro. Real, bro. This shit don't happen like this mm -hmm. every day. And, um. It's a blessing it's to be honest man. with you. What? Uh, he FaceTimed me this morning, man. He headed to uh, he headed to Israel. You know, I've been back two days now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he FaceTimed me this morning, just telling me, you know, uh, stay focused. Uh, God got Bruh. you, and I got you. That's I, wanna, uh, I have a I have a question. So, because just like how you say you can't get ahead of yourself, because sometimes these people come into your life for a moment and not always just be there for the whole ride. And honestly, it's God placed people in your life. Not for permanently for you to reach a certain status Correct. where he wants you to be there and he'll put somebody else in your life. But how I look on it, since you know that these people are not here forever, what have you learned from him, even in that short moment of time that you've been with him so far? Because for me personally, from what you just said, 
I just learned the fact that you really need to have a structure around you, people who can help you with that structure to look organized, to be organized. And I love the fact that he's a black man doing that because a lot of people look at black folks and not being organized. You understand what I mean? They just do stuff on the fly. Floyd, Floyd is humble. He's smarter than what people give me credit for. Mm -hmm. He's respectful. He's malleable. Um, and he the boss of our bosses. Wow. And I was on the phone with him this morning. He was writing checks. He was writing Christmas checks. Wow. Mm. He was already Bonuses. Writing, he was already writing Christmas checks for people. Man. Uh, and one thing he told me, he said, I always take care of your people. Mm. That's real. Because they're going to take care of you. Wow. That's true. I always take care of your people, Bubba Dub, because they're going to take care of you. Explain to me what you were doing down there on that floor. Because y'all went to the game together, too, didn't you? Yeah, we went down. I'm, Hell I'm, was y'all going down there at that damn game. F Floyd Missy. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd want me to talk that same shit. I talk about them skits to them niggas. <laughs> on the floor. But when I got there, I realized how big them niggas <laughs> is. <laughs> Tell you something nobody don't know yet. So we got down there and we walk in, Scotty Pippen them all right there. We mm -hmm. them down here with them stars. Uh, Rich Paul, LeBron, Agent. They all know yeah. who you yeah. are. Yes, yes. He seen me. He was like, Rich Paul seen me say, you with the right motherfucking team, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he said, it's over. <laughs> he said, say, me and Bron talk about you all the time, but you him now. Oh, wow. damn. So, I'm, you know, they playing Portland Trailblazers. So, you know me, I really don't know if they know me or not. It gets my mind. It, yeah. Anthony Davis made three shots in a row and ran right over that wild wood. Yeah, nigga, Trey. <laughs> I'm talking about he was aggressive with oh, it. No. Wow. Yeah, nigga, trash. I'm like, oh, shit. And um, Floyd, right hand man, was like, boy, I told you you're going to make it, boy. That's now hard. you're seeing what your work, what it does. It's, it, it's, it's paying off. Uh, another guy, uh, I can't think of his name. He never nerve, How However you supposed to say, he played for Portland. He's a singer. Okay. Well, I was trying to tell Anthony Davis to post him up. I say, post him up, Davis, post him up, A.D. Hey, he look over me, he said, Bubba, chill out. <laughs> I'm like, ah, this motherfucker know what he's <laughs> name. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But that's hard. They man. all knew I was in the building, man. Uh, which was crazy. I met Larissa Pippen. Oh, oh damn! Oh, no, fun fact. Fun fact. We gonna talk about it. Yeah, Let's talk about, about it. it. Larissa Pippen was there with his daughter, right? Okay. Pippen was there with another female, right? Yeah. But the disrespect. Scotty Pippen daughter was wearing some Michael Jordan shoes. Damn. Oh damn! And he got and Pippen got his own signature shoe. Mm. And she wearing she, she wearing, wearing Jordan. Mm. Damn! The disrespect. Mm. <laughs> the disrespect. Damn. Man, you know what, man? You seeing stuff firsthand. You paved the way. Did you ever think that weird trash would take you where it's taking you, man? I talked about it before I did a video. I figured. It was going to be something different. Because the way I was just putting my emphasis on Yeah, you talked about but that last interview. I didn't know to the extent of like this. I, I really I, I really didn't. I mean, I was in Dubai, in which we all know. Uh, we went to this restaurant, P.F. Chan's. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, you know, Floyd, you know, doing this thing. You know, people going crazy. And uh, we leave. I check my messenger. And there's a fan from Dubai saying, I just saw you with Floyd, bro. I just want to let you know I love you. Keep going. Mm. It's over. I was like, they I love got you, fans bro. in Dubai. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's serious. It's, over. it's, it's over. over. You know, it's just so it's good to see you in that element, you know. And then people like maybe Floyd. I don't know if he has seen your stand up before that. No, he's no, he's haven't seen it. You see what I'm saying? He's pulling up. When? I got a show coming in uh, New Orleans, December the 16th. He gonna be in Dallas, December the 10th. Okay, with Bay Bay now, but I got a show in Crockett, Texas. But we talked about that this morning. He said you gonna he gonna pull up on that one maybe. And his words, absolutely. And I, y'all, I got I got to give you something when I pull up. Oh, oh man, y'all for the kick. He it. giving me my own TMT chain. I figured, I knew it, I Damn. knew it. So you you pretty much over there. It's you a deal. Aborted, so it's you're a, part of the it's, team. It's basically, so so you guys pretty is it a sign over thing or sign up? Yeah, I was just, about to say. You just got the chain, nigga. You a part with the chain. Do people get chains without signing some? I don't know. I'm trying to find out <laughs> now, nigga. So is it a thing where you are totally? Is it a just affiliation thing or how does it work? Like is as as he say, you know, it's the team. But as he say, you family. So he just basically you family. You family. You good. 
That's all he tell me. Nigga must you, he, you he good, see bro. the same thing we see, man. You know, you hard. You know bro. I can't say everything on camera. I, I know that. that. You <laughs> hard, bro. You hard, bro. Like I know what he see. No, we like, want you to say whatever you can say. Don't say nothing you can say. Yeah, yeah. No, you know I got to keep it's it. It's just hard. You hard, bro. Like, like I, I just see the. I just see what God doing with you, bro, and it's just something special, man. And I'm thanking God that I was able to be a part of it on this level, whatever level, nigga. I'm there, nigga. I'm watching, nigga. I'm like rooting, nigga. I'm a fan, nigga. The only thing I'm gonna say to you, because at least most women would say, is make sure you read everything, look oh, at everything, dot that all the eyes, oh, you know, I ain't the nothing teeth. like that. No, I mean, just you know, it, everything you do, just. Going back to the comedy place that you were at, and you said that you you gonna start now looking at all, it's just a learning experience. It's, it's like it's like being a kid walking through the mall and seeing some shoes you know you can't afford. Yeah. But now I can walk through that same mall and see some shit and know I can get it. But that's hard, man. It's like it's like I'm, I like I, like I told Floyd, he was like, "What you need? I don't need no money, bro." He said, "Well, I'm gonna give you that anyway, but you don't give me mm, what you said. I don't need no money." I said, I just need, I'm going I'm to be in movies. I want to be around this person. That's nothing. Hold on. Damn. Make a call. Hey, you know this guy right here? Oh, that's Bubba Dub. Let's put something together. It's up. Just that simple. So, so you have a lot them, of stuff in yeah, the works. Yeah, so he's telling them, yeah, look. Telling what this guy, like you said earlier, he said, I might not be around. I might be in Canada, and I might not be there. But it's Bubba Dub here. He need that. That's hard. Let's put that. Let's put that together. Let's put some plays together. I think, man, it's something, and like I said, it's just a very special thing when God show you favor. I gotta go right back to that, bro. Just like right that's right. hard, man. Like for you to, for, for for you to be able to be in this position, and God has prepared you. Meaning, you already was God prepared you, bro. Yeah. Like He ain't never seen your stand up. I seen your stand up. I know you special, and I know already that the uh, the people who love you, they know you special. Who. Easily converted, like you was in the, you know, basically doing your social media trash biz, your skits and all that. And then it's not an easy thing to be able to do that conversion. A lot of people get stuck right there. Right. Correct. I'm being real, bro. Correct, correct. But then to see the conversion and then to see the room full, to see wall to wall, people chanting uh, trash and bubble dub and 40 years and you be in this. I seen it. So I love the fact that God takes it to the next level like he always does. And people, a lot of people ask, like, man, did you ever see it like this? I did, but not this level. Mm. Not this level. Not with Floyd. I ain't but even... imagine where else you're going. Oh, I know. That's that's the most you beautiful thing about I mean? it. That's the most beautiful thing that's about hard, this. I'm, I'm still, I'm in the you're beginning. still going. I'm still going. But still you know going. what? People don't understand. You know how a lot of times people always feel like, in order to be able to offer something, I got to offer like this much. I got to give all this money. Or people don't realize... Your greatest gift is just networking. I realized that recently is even in what we're doing and how we meet a lot of people, we're not shy as in like, okay, here's this person's number. Call this yeah, person. This person it. will help you do this. Go ahead and interview with yeah. this person because this will help you get to the next level or whatever. I think connections is the most important thing. It's key. But it be, it's surprised that, yeah, some people out here who are so selfish that they were like, you gotta pay me for me to introduce you to this person. That that's my catalog. I know all these people, but in order for you to know these people, you gotta sign to me. You gotta this. This is my contact list. I be like, I, why? I, I like to, I like when they do me like that. It's, it's a pure sign for me not to deal with him. Fact. I love it. I be like, this is God, you know, because we always want to talk about God on the we getting something. I'm telling you, God opened my eyes or something. I get excited. I don't want to be around nobody that basically. It's not for me or not, or could do something even more detrimental down the line to me. So this is my wake up. And when I get that, good, bad, or indifferent, Different. I'm happy as ever. You're, what about you, Bubba Dub? Same way, bro. <laughs> Same way. It's just, like you say, though, um, God, man. It's God. It's amazing. All day long. It's amazing. I mean, just to, I watched this dude flying 70 people. Hard. Mm -mm. And you know, I paid Man, 70 people. Everybody got rooms and taken care of all you, you know, I paid. How long were you out there for? Man, damn it, two weeks. Mm. Two weeks. I had to get back home. He tried to kidnap me. I, I gotta go, bro. <laughs> you miss your family. Yeah, I gotta go, bro. He wasn't trying to hear. He wasn't trying to hear. He wasn't trying to hear. But when you went out there, um, okay, because you went to Dubai. Mm -hmm. And 
it was his boxing match. So he he was you brought him out or how did that work? Because you do comedy. Yeah, I, no, I didn't, I didn't, how did that? No, I didn't break him out. He already had some other people. I walked out with him though. Because yeah. Bobby Billions was there too. Because I yeah. saw it on his thing. Shout out, shout out Bobby Billions, man. He, yeah, I, I gotta I gotta hit him up. I'm yeah, tripping. But <laughs> um, so you were just there, just being a part and experiencing the whole thing, or yeah, he he just brought me out there to show me the ropes. Okay. Uh, pretty much just schooled me to the game, showed me how everything go. There's a lot of stuff I didn't know that went in the boxing. Mm-hmm. And um, he, he basically just showed me how to get money. That's all. Mm. That's all. More than anything, he showed me how to get them chicks. Mm. Man. He showed me how to use who I am to get leverage mm. um, on people. He, he, excuse me, he just showed me um, the perception of him wasn't. But it always what seems it always to be, be mm. arrogant and all this and that, this and that. I watched that man put in work. But I, you have to know that, though. Just like how people think that you're always the way how you are when you're saying trash and on your videos. But if they really get to know you, you're really not like that. True. Man, but that's the part I love, man. Like, I'm like, if I can get to know this nigga on this level, why he quiet, nigga? I'm in there for real. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I was like, this nigga quiet. I'm accepting this nigga regardless. I don't give a- That's how I am, though. I don't be playing no games. I'm going to be me at the fullest. Got to be. Gotta I'm be. like, whatever he is, if I'm rocking with him, I'm all the way rocking with him, you know. And and that's the one thing. And I knew that day, even when I met you, I'm like, man, I'm rocking with this nigga, man. We got a lot of work to do. In my mind, that's the way we my do. mind thinking. Like, like, we got, we better go to the next level. I'm telling you, I'm thinking, like, Nigga, we taking this thing now. They gonna fill us in a minute. You know what I'm and everybody that's around him, like you said, he had an entourage. He mm-hmm. do, he do. But what I liked about the whole situation, it was like you know, it's about seventy of us out there. He still find time to come fuck with me. That's real. That's like, real. Like, come here, me show you something. What you think about this? He, and his mind's so sharp, he could tell you certain punches and fights that he did twenty years ago. That's all. Mm-hmm. At a certain time, he would. He, no. he could break it down. It's just, his mind is real sharp. Was it pops there? Or did you meet his? No, nah, his pops wasn't there. He um, met his pops. I met his daughter. I met his son. His son, uh, Zion. He's, he's cool. How old is he? Zion, I think Zion might be 21. Okay, 21, he got grown kids. Yeah, they grown. He a pop now. Oh, oh okay. I saw the pop man. He, wow. Yeah, I seen him punching that bag. I remember hey. seeing the kid punching that bag, the hey. little baby. Oh, yeah. That's him be a yeah. young boy's son. He gonna be, yeah. he got that it. gonna be ready. He got it. He got it. <laughs> he got it. He got it. You could, um. It's online. You could put a, you could put a boxing match up mm-hmm. and he, of somebody else, he'll watch it. But you put Floyd on there, he won. Pop up. Mm. You know, and the red. That's got adorable. It. He got it, man. man. So what I want to know. So okay, so going forward, because you experienced all of that, and I know that when a person, as quiet as you are, observant as you are, experience all of that, your mind start racing, and you start to plan towards the future, as in what my next steps are. My next step is from what he done flew me out to show me. Now I gotta take my baby. Already. Cause now I didn't experience it. Now, now I know where to go. <laughs> now she got the experience too. Cause it ain't all good about me on this journey. It's about, it's about I got to, now I'm too. able to reach back. Come on, baby. That's hard, man. Take you you gotta let us know when you're going so we can book yeah, our flights yeah, to we come all too. Can go to go. We can yeah. go. Hey, let's talk in that Dubai. Was, that'll be great. Cause I'm a boring passport. guy. So going with somebody to be yes, even better. Man, we going. And because we'll feel better because you already know where and what to do. Yeah. So you can also show us where and to I'm go. And I'm definitely interviewing him in Dubai too, nigga. So all that's going, nigga. I got my lavender little mic on, nigga. What's up? Go. Where I'm are you going? I'm, we going next year. Okay. We going Let's next year. We going to book. You know what you about to say? You about to say something. I'm going to be able to, I'm gonna be able to get you an interview with, with Floyd. Ooh. It might be five minutes, though. I don't that's give okay. a damn. I'll take, take that I'm, five I'm, minutes. I'm, I'm going to break my magic with you on man, that. Man, hey, it's up, baby. It's on. And you know what? Hey, man. I'm gonna just sit there and I'm, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna cut up though. I ain't gonna lie. Do y'all? What's up, nigga? I'm cutting up. So let me ask you this, man, because you you gotta realize, man, you you came in the game, you did things that nobody expected. You know, when you look at the 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 relationship with with, with uh, Dwayne Wade, uh, mm-hmm. Tracy McGrady, oh, that's of course my Shaq. You know what I'm saying? Like all of this different stuff just happened all in within look like six to seven months period of time, bro. Yeah. Hey, am I tripping? No, you ain't tripping. This ha- it happened like Floyd that. Floyd Mayweather, like boom, 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 boom. Like you, you God taking you fast, man. Like I talked to T Mac, T Mac family. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. T- I talked to T Mac about this situation with Floyd. He said, "Look, 
Cause T Mac a very humble guy, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but you know T Mac got them M's, mm. and he told me say Floyd, I'm on another level. <laughs> <laughs> he say congratulations, bro. That wow. nigga y'all on another level, boy. Woo. He just told me embrace it, embrace yeah. it, uh, uh, pay attention to everything that's going on, and uh, I deserve it. Do you? Mm. That's hard, out, man. Out. I mean, for him to even, you know, like I said last time, we had these conversations, and just for him to even be able, you know, a lot of niggas gonna fall back too. Ooh, I hit him with a blow. I'm, a, you know, I'm a prophet too. Hey, you know, I, you know, I, I like do you, nah, you said the word. You said the word, word with them. Listen, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you the truth. That's all I'm saying when I'm prophesying. You I'm said the word the with them. Listen, man, a lot of them gonna fall back because it's gotta understand you embracing. Floyd Mayweather, right? And you bringing him in, and then he bringing you in, but you also dealing with his enemies too. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't ready, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everything is basically coming and moving, and certain niggas automatically ain't gonna like you because they hating on him. Facts. See, I'm, yeah. see, I'm, I'm proud. Affiliation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they looking at ways to hate on him anyway. They already hating on him. So, cause, he, cause that's what they gonna do. And hate now, him hate. now. I'm in the Illuminati house. I'm, I'm with you. I know, and I guess I'm going to be in the next <laughs> nigga because I'm with you. <sighs> I ain't trying to hear it, bro. I really, honestly, after I made that video, I guess to talk a little shit about that because, man, I work for everything I got, bro. You did. I didn't reach out to Floyd Mayweller, man. He reached out to me. You did, and, and that's real. And um, I ain't have to sacrifice or none of that stuff they saying. They just people on the outside. They want in. <laughs> sacrifice. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they wish want, it was them. They wish it was them, honestly, just being mm-hmm. real about the situation. But to the people that's happy for me, thank you. Man. But, um. It won't stop. It won't stop. I want to ask you about just like even, you know, the more – you you being blessed. I gotta bring up the fact of like charity or giving back. It, it, it's got to be some plans in there of how to help. You know some uh, of the ones who are more less fortunate. I'm, you know I just wrote a post today on my Facebook. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna bless a couple of families this a couple of families this Christmas. Okay, okay. Uh, that's the way it got to be, man. Like like that's what people don't understand when you go to these levels. Like mm-hmm. you've seen when we mm-hmm. gave back to when that's whether good. it was single parents or whether it was going to talk to some kids, whatever. As your journey go, people don't realize how important they talking about Lumen. I know we talking about giving and helping and showing love to the less fortunate a lot of times as well. Because the, the more opportunity you get, the more opportunity you can give. For my part, my part about um, I've always wanted to help families, um, not only Christmas but really all year round. Correct. But my problem is is to find those families. You know, I don't always want to go through organizations and all of that, but it's like you want to. But people are so prideful. Because the people who don't have it, government helped them a lot. It's the people above that who can't qualify for certain things but having a hard time paying their bills or buying gifts for their kids or whatever. I want to find those type of families who mom working five, six jobs, can't afford anything. But you know what I mean? Correct. But it's hard to find because they're so prideful. They're not going to tell nobody their business. You know what? I, but it's hard for me to find those families. Like, how are you picking the families that you need to help. I'm in the streets. That's real. That's hard too. I'm in the streets. Um, I got people in the streets. Um, I know some people that's really struggling. It's hard out here right now. Uh, that's why I don't put too much on social media. Mm-hmm. I could easily boast, brag. Right? That ain't me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Two years ago, I ain't had shit. So uh, I think you create a lot of enemies that way too. Um, Cause you know the wolves gotta eat. Mm. Oh, you yeah. never show a wolf where you stay. Late. That's mm. real. That's so, real. Mm-hmm. I don't That's show real. Uh, mm-hmm. I Try not to. I really, you know, I got to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you got ample security like, too. Well, I mean, anyway, listen to me, I mean, man. I got that thing in the sec- like, security box. What's going on, yeah. man? Yeah, so. Mayweather watch is different. Well, you know, that was one of the. Well, I, I didn't tell nobody, but I knew I, I had one. You know, he had already. <laughs> we had. You know, we, we talk every right. every day. On that situation, and um, and, that, and I'm not a flashy guy. He yeah. is, mm-hmm. of course. Oh, he he gonna, the money thing. He's gonna put it in your face. Mm-hmm. And with him, you got to have something. Right. You got to have something with him because he's not gonna make him have and not people around him correct, have. Correct. But that's why I say you got to amp up your security because even although you're not a flashy guy, when people see you on social media think with all yeah. these people and, with money, even most, if you didn't get anything, yeah. they are gonna think that automatically you have. And I ain't got a mustard seed. I'm broke. You see what I, I, I ain't mean? Ain't got nothing. But, <laughs> but I'm I rich go, in heart. I want to go back to those families too. Um, you say you're helping five people. If you know about more people out there who need help, 
pass the information on to me because I am looking for people that I'd like to help. And let me just say this, because I know a lot of people get it misconstrued. When I say I'm gonna help five families, that may that might not always mean money. Right. That might be canned goods, socks, mm-hmm. underwear, toothpaste, clothes, mm-hmm. covers. Mm-hmm. Might be your rent paid. You just never know. I know a lot of my people. Essentials. They always think money. Mm-mm. And I know we need money, but people need other things. People need love. Somebody need a motherfucking hug. Mm-hmm. A mother just might just might need a, a, a glass of milk, a I juice, or so, so, something. Mm-hmm. We don't we don't know. It's not always about money, mm-hmm. but you do need it. You know what? You gotta have it. And you gotta, be honest you gotta, with you gotta, you gotta have, have a Coke or you know a nigga like a Coke or Doctor Pepper. Or, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> <laughs> nigga, here with me, man. Coke, nigga. <laughs> fact, fact. But, but I want man, y'all, y'all, boss talk. You know this. I, I want to help people, bro. Yeah, yeah. And it's easy to help people. You know, I want to help the people that I don't, don't know. Mm. That's I want to, man. I want to. That's why I'm reason I thank God, bro. Floating around, He teaches me about generational wealth. That's it. That's I've been thinking about that the whole time we've been talking. The fact that it's gonna change generations to what we was talking about changing one's life, but this goes a little bit further. I, I got tatted on my back, thirteen and twenty two. A good father leaves an inheritance to his children. children. I told you I'm a prophet, nigga. Facts. Children's children. Facts. See, this is this is generational wealth, and and this is something that people don't tap into a lot of times, and they trying. Uh, but but a lot of times it's just, they can't figure it out. But being around a Floyd Mayweather, being around people like Shaq and them, being around uh, the Tracy McGrady, the, 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 the Dwayne Wade's or whatever, you know, I'm being real with you. These people have done things that are going to change lives from mm-hmm. when they're gone. You know what I mean? And we don't know when we're leaving. Look at Kobe. We don't, we don't know, know when we're leaving. And like I tell people, you uh, like you say, we're going to know when we're leaving. But where we from, opportunities don't come like this. Not man. like this, man. They don't come like this. So... You know, we from East Texas. And, Man. And just to, Lord say the same, to be able to come back home one of these days and really, really make a difference That's in people's lives. And really make a difference. Like, yeah. I know we watch that movie New Jack City all the time when Nino was out there passing out turkeys. turkeys yeah. I'm going to pass them out, but my shit going to be stuffed. Man, <laughs> we don't turkeys. dressing and everything. Yeah. We, we may even smoke them turkeys. You know what I'm talking about? Might fly. <laughs> Might get lean in turkey that hood to do one for me. <laughs> Shout out to me, Shout out out to hood, Leah, man. man. My brother. So when you think about like 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 you, you something you did, and I'm, you know, and I was so excited. You've been exciting me here lately all the time, bro. But when you did this podcast, bro, you put boss talk interview with you on that first when that whole pop on. I said, man, this nigga here, man. And then you calling a nigga, man, nigga, you bro, you a, me, man. You, you done mess me up, nigga. You a, you a pillar in the community, bro. Thank you, man. You, what you do, I want one thing I like about you. You real, and you ain't afraid to hurt nobody's feelings. Nah. What I'm saying is, just because me and you boys, that don't mean you got to side with me. No, nah, not all the time. You see what I'm saying? No, nah, not That's all the time. That's what I like about him. Not That's all the time. That's what I like time. about y'all. Because mm-hmm. as a human, you got to respect that shit. Man. You got I, a job to do at the end of the day. Man. It's still love when you get off her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you keep it. Real. Be you know what the too. funniest thing well, I even thought about? I, be tripping. I thought about this this morning when we were at breakfast, and I hate fake people, right? But one thing, I, as you get older, you know you get wiser, you see certain things. What I hate even more than fake people is the people who come across 100% genuine. In front of your face, they tell you all sorts of stuff that you think they're telling you. But if you are fly on the wall and hear them somewhere else, they're totally not who they say they are. Correct. But in front of your face for years, sometimes they can be somebody else. Yeah, I think I, I don't like those people even more. Yeah. I call it getting like back. why why it's so much harder to be that way rather than just be real like i'm gonna tell this story here uh the episode ain't come out yet but i did an episode on funny marco show with uh, with, yeah. the, with the white howard okay yeah the white howard i'll wow. tell y'all a funny story um i walk in he's already sitting down you know the white howard tower he look and see me and he shake my hand but then he instantly he was already feeling animosity toward me because about the things I said about yeah, him yeah. Um, on, on, on my skits. And he said, man, you know what? I would have fire your ass. <laughs> oh, I sure wish I'd have been there. Nigga. And I was like, you ain't going to do shit with your muscle neck ass. <laughs> so they like, you should go sit down beside him. In my mind, like, this motherfucker's seven foot. I <laughs> so I go and sit down beside him. We finna get ready and debate, you know, go at it. Right. And then Fuddy Marco walk in. 
And so I'm getting up because this day show, they finna, yeah. And funny Marco was like, no, shit your ass down. I'm like, no. He's like, nigga, shit your ass down. So we do the show. I can't really get too much detail. Yeah. But what I will say, and he, the White House will tell you that, he felt some kind of way about what, some things I said about him or whatever. And, um, but we put we put that shit to the side, and um, we got we got some business we finna do, man. Do I? He in, he in uh, Taiwan right now. That's hard, but, man. Uh, he, he told me like, bro, you know what? I mean, let's get a bag. Mm. I got something for you, brother. Mm. Let, let, hard, let's let's get a bag, man. And then you know, after you start becoming friends with somebody, now you finna get the real. So real yesterday, mm. so yesterday again, he brought up. I really want to fire your ass up for saying I was grabbing <laughs> nigga meats in the sauce. <laughs> so. You know me, I'm like. That's still on his mind. I'm like, bro, you heard that shit? He was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because he's like, LeBron, and then we, we all watch your shit. He was like, I was with you. I was with you. <laughs> then I seen that shit like, man, bro, <laughs> Bro, you figured it out, bro. That is hard. Like, when you figure it out, man, for you to figure out those avenues of how to get people funny in those different places, to go in these crevices and make something mm -hmm. that nobody mm -hmm. ever even done, that's hard, man. So, like I said, you know me, I'm so nonchalant to what's going on with people. I don't really be knowing. So... Once I finally started getting trying to tap in, I'm reach out to people like who is that right there? Man, that's uh D D D D Damian Lemmer. What, what about? What, what do you say? Oh, it be hard during the season, but after season we can do it. So this nigga already rocking with you. What is that about though? What did you ask him? I ain't read. All I asked that. him, could I, um, could we do a skit? Okay. You know, let's do a skit. We, we got, we, he was like, well, it's hard during the season, you know, but after yeah. the season we can do whatever you want to do. That's hard, mm, man. I, like I so said, you these doors are about to start opening for you a lot more because of the people that you come in. Come in with. I got some breaking news. What's that? Let's go. Boss talk exclusive, nigga. <laughs> I got my own show coming. So I'm gonna say oh, this. Word. I'm gonna say this. Can't say what? I'm gonna say this to say this. Y'all know first take. Yeah. Y'all know uh undisputed show. Mm hmm I'm about to have my own show just like that. Damn. Man, y'all see that, bro? You see that? Wow. Boss Talk 101 exclusive, man. It's going down. This year. This year. The to year it. almost done. We, start, we, we finna push. Yeah, yeah that's wow. how it go. It happened just that fast. We finna push. We finna push. It's gonna be on the, the same. Uh, it's gonna be with Breakbeat. That's hard. You know, that's hard. You haven't yeah. started filming yet? We start filming uh, the week after Thanksgiving. Well, mm. we could have been filming, but I've been with Floyd, so right. that's hard. You know, when you with him, they wait. <laughs> they got to <the> wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do you think? <laughs> you, know how Floyd, you, you know how Floyd are good people, but Floyd, like, tell them motherfuckers wait. Oh. If they want you, tell them oh, motherfuckers boy. wait. Oh, uh, we'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love it, boy. I just love it. I love the fact, bro. I love it. I love to see. This year jumping out at me, man. I can't wait. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. And what's so cool about the situation, you know, with the show or whatever, I was telling Floyd about it. You know how Floyd, he don't do things. He was like, and I'm going to be on it. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm coming on her. He said, I'm coming on your show. And blessing you. He going to change this thing, man. Mm -hmm. Boss Talk 101. We you don't see Floyd man. Man on many Not shows at all. like that. No. But it's the one he... He feel like he wanted. When to was the last time you seen him on a show? It's been a, a long time. Well, he do, he, he do what he want to do, right? And that was just, that was just what I was gonna say. One thing he told me, he said, uh, "Bubba, a lot of time people say things because they 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 attached to this. They got contracts and this mm -hmm. and that. Like nobody on me." Own That's myself. real. I'm my own boss. I move how I want to move. Cause you know how I am. I was telling you about the show. I was like, man, I got this show here, but I know you be busy. I'm the boss. Mm. All I gotta do is gas up the jet. We got. I do what I do. Mm. That ain't when shit. I wanna do it. That ain't shit. Don't be yeah. acting like can I be it. No. I ain't got no more fights right now. Mm -hmm. I don't think he fight no more to uh you got one in January and February. So he he's it's, it's scheduled clear right now. So That's he, hard, he's pulling man. up. And I know how he pull up. It's mm. it's going down. It's going down. Man, and that's and and and, and man, and I'm coming too. Got you. Got you. Yeah, nigga, I'm finna fly in. Nigga, I got, I got you. nigga, I ain't tripping y'all playing, nigga. I'm going to wherever these niggas gonna be. You not leaving me, nigga. It's up. Here. I got you. Trust me. I got you. I enjoy it. Man. I want you to meet him because he good people, man. He can give you so much that's game. Hard. He can give you so much game, and it's, and just being around him gonna change the game. Shoot the numbers through the roof. Yeah, I just yeah. love he love God. Oh yeah, man. Floyd very like. 
the internet, the world, stigma of people, man. Yeah. yeah it, you know why people totally say a lot of that stuff man. about him? Because I can only imagine if you see a man walking somewhere and he got all these a cocoon of bodyguards around him, you can't get to him. First thing people gonna say because they're mad they can't get to him is, oh, he think he all that. He cocky, he this, he that. And I really feel like a lot of it has to do with that. Well, he, he is cocky, he supposed to be. Motherfucker mm. 50 and no. That nigga 50 and no. <laughs> yeah. 50 and no. I've been already. Anytime a nigga go to camping and high siding and all that, and, that's and, what I like. And, and, and can yeah. back it up though. And, but, go on. and show me some motherfucking checks I ain't never <laughs> seen in my life. <laughs> I see why he that way. But we have to remember. That motherfucker worked. He worked for it. Mm -hmm. You just said, you know, he started to say he ran 10 miles. And tell you now, and tell you now, you ain't going to get no rest with this nigga. And he had that much energy? Like, we in Dubai, right? We go out to all his events. It's like four in the morning. I'm going to the room. All right, I'm going to go to the room. He called. Where you at? Say, bro, I just left you. Nah, I'll come back up to the room, family. I go up there. He getting him aside and shit. He just want to fucking talk. Just, just, just so when does he go to sleep? Man, Floyd sleep two hours and good. He back on it. Back on it. Every day. He sleep about two or three hours and back on. I'm over here about to die. <laughs> His bodyguards like, you gonna, you gonna see. What, you kind, gonna, uh, what kind of vitamins what, he take? Man. When he go to sleep, you go to sleep. That's it. That's what That's you gotta what they do. Told me. I'm learning. So when Floyd, That's like a baby. So when Floyd, <laughs> dozed, <laughs> when Floyd <laughs> dozed and off, I take off. Everybody else, <laughs> bodyguards, they take off. It, like if Floyd's sleeping and somebody come in and ball and they get mad, leave that nigga alone. <laughs> See, that's like a baby, a newborn baby. I'm gonna tell you Floyd's schedule. Wake up, buying jewelry, <laughs> <laughs> going to the mall, and eating. Kicking and, it. And training and kicking it. Same day, next day, buying jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ever have enough jewelry? Hey, that's too much. You can't be buying jewelry every day. That motherfucker got it. He kicking it. That's the next level, man. I, I, so oh, What's the clothing brand you bringing out, man? Clothing brand, you know I got my, you know I got my own the trash and clothing brand. When, it, when, when, when we gonna pump it up? Let's pump this production up. I, I gotta get some of it in the stove. I'm just trying to get my little deals in. I said the same shit to Floyd this morning. <laughs> I said the same shit to Floyd. We gotta get morning. this stuff in here. I, mean, I gotta get my shit out. Yeah. He was, you know how he is. Why you just not saying something? Yeah, he ready to go. Let's go. I got you. Let's go. Well, all I, I, I got to put that thing, I got to have it in the store, got to have it set up, uh, give me a little shelf and everything, have my little old trash section, it's going down. You designed all your merch? Yeah. That's, That's hard. But man. I'm trying to find something new, a new logo. You that, sound like me. It's hard to, to, to really think about something because you want to be creative, you want to be different from everybody else. I want, I want to be different from everybody else. But I also want to, I hate when people reach out and I don't have it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have... A lot, a lot and, of it, and and and, and nothing. So mm -hmm. I gotta ask thing. you about Dizzy Banks. Now. That's my bro, though. When 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 you took off to go to Dubai, oh, he hit me. I that's what I want to talk about. I already he hit me. What, what, he's like, God damn, nigga, you going? Yeah, yeah. He always Dizzy Dizzy Banks always reach out and give me words of encouragement and tell me he proud of me. Um, that's a shame we ain't really ain't linked on that. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame that and he know that hey, he know that too. A lot of linking would be going on anyway. Oh, yeah. Because cause the, the internet don't stop. Mm -mm. You see what I'm saying? I got some shit uh, lined up. Um, but you know what? I'm just taking advantage of my opportunities. Yeah, you should. I, I got some skits from the drop of floor. You got some skits from the drop? Man, come on, man. It's over. Hey, that's, that's what hard. I'm going to do, though. You I'm got some. I got some skits, man. We fun, we, uh, fun, I'm working, bro. That's hard, bro. got just to be around. No, no, no. It's up. It's, it's, it's super totally up. up. It's totally up. Man. Um. So when you just go back and and, and let's let's talk about uh, uh, Funny Marco again. No, uh, you being on that show. Mm -hmm. Um. I seen that show, man. I seen uh, Carlos uh, run out. He walked off the other day. It seemed as if he. I don't know if they straightened it out. It seemed real to me, nigga. Like I'm like, oh damn, he left. Uh, yeah. When he left my show, nigga, he didn't leave like that. Didn't I? Yeah. Funny, so, funny, funny Marco, dope, and to the world. You know, it's, it's they been done filmed that, you know. Yeah, 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 a long you know, time you know ago. They been done filmed that. So, so when he, when he, we basically, I hadn't seen his setup, but he told me he was gonna come on Boss Talk, Funny Marco. Did. He will. He and told me he will. You and him, it was after you and uh, him did that movie. With, with, well, cheating Myron. With cheating Myron, Myron. Cheating Myron. Myron. And I hit, me, I hit him in a DM. He was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it, you know. Gonna We're gonna do it. Do it. So, uh, the thing is, I just, I appreciate y'all for that, but just, the dude seems so fly with the way he do it. It's so different. 
He has a whole different way of doing his comedy. I've been checking this nigga out. I said, this nigga different, man. Hey, look, a lot of people hit me up all the time, man. Hey, man, who do you think funny? Everybody funny in their own way. Yeah. But funny Marco is a different. He different. He different with it. And shout out to him. He always uh, he always put me on game on certain stuff and showed me certain things. So shout out to uh, funny Marco. But uh, me and Desi, man, like I say, that's my bro. We should be. Man, we should be lighting nigga, nigga up with stuff. Man. But, but, oh, it's coming now. It's coming now. It's coming now. Man, I can't wait. I'm excited to see it, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. I, I don't know what the next move is, but I know the next move is our best, best move, move nigga. for real. They in trouble, nigga. We pulling up, nigga. We pulling up like this. Oh, let me say this. <laughs> let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Um, I'm finna start a series. Um, the series is going to be called Janky Funeral Home Directors. What? Janky Funeral Home Directors. What is that all about? It's like this. When you get a phone call from a mother or father, oh, baby, I'm just struggling. I'm barely paying rent. Um, I know you got my baby body down there. Can you, can, can you just bury my son? Never. <laughs> I need that money. Mm. Got to have it. Because if you ain't got that money, he getting cremated. Already, and I believe you. You got so. a lot of people like that, though. But I'm finna bring that to light. Mm. Like, they can't steal it because it's already wrote. But you talking about um, cremated. Some people won't even want to do that because it charges to cremate. Well, it's cheaper than burying. It's cheaper than burying, but... That's the thing about being janky. Mm. You know someone get killed? They had jury on them? Yeah. The family called well. They said he had jury on him. He ain't had nothing. Mm. But it's going to play back with a flashback mm. of me and whoever taking it out for them. And then we wearing the jury at the funeral. That's dope. <laughs> that's, uh, hey, I got that's some different. coming. That's I'm going to give you a part of it, man. What? Gonna but you know what I always wonder about, too? Because, and I've asked the funeral director this. But I don't know how true it is. You know, some people like to plan ahead and be like, okay, I want to pay you for my plot over here. But some of these people go out of business. Correct. So what's going to happen to that money I just gave you for that plot? Correct. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's like, y'all, y'all boss talk. So it's like some people you tried to interview, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, he never would give you an interview. Yeah. But you're going to show up to the friend room. Before the people family get in, y'all already setting up. I'm going to get my interview now. <laughs> <laughs> Like mm. just the cut, you have to really think what I'm saying. Yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. people like this nigga. Wow, I want to bring that. I want to bring that type of comedy back because that's mm. what the game is mentioning. Um, I know y'all probably watch Richard Pryor. Hell yeah, which way is up? Yeah, I want to bring that back. Back, yeah. But I'm going to shoot it in like 15 minutes because people' attention span is not long. It's not that long. So the series will be 15 minutes or maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, mm. but I want to see how it goes. So I'm. I'm um, I'm in contact with a guy in Dallas that owns a funeral home. Okay. So I'm going to be reaching out to some cast members. Who oh, yeah. You know, Let me but, know whatever you need. But this is going to be dope. Because it's going to change the game. Oh, yeah. And, and, and the, it's going to be uncomfortable. And when things are uncomfortable, it works. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you're yeah. uncomfortable, when you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, it works. It works. works. Every time. What do you what what what's next? What what do you really want at the end of the at, Oh at oh the yeah, end of the you know, I got so much breaking news. I got so much breaking news to people. Uh what's man, next? I got some next. Uh Kevin Hart people wanna meet me. Uh shout, wow. out, to, shout out to Mr. Keith Robinson. He's responsible for Kevin Hart and Patrice O'Neill. Okay. He wanna work with me. He already reached out. Yeah, he wanna work with me and I definitely yeah. wanna work with him. Like I said, you in overdrive, nigga. And I ain't stopping. In overdrive, man. You said boss talk on fire, nigga. You on fire. I can't nigga. wait to call you and tell you I'm on set in one of my big movies. Pull up to the big trailer. Nigga, I'm coming. That's what I'm telling you. I'm flying out, nigga. I'm flew out. I'm gone. I'm flying you in. I'm coming. I'm flying you in. On the jet. <laughs> Send that jet and see what happened, nigga. I'm, my bags and stuff. I'm looking, nigga, where, where, how I put my foot up there. You know what I'm talking about? For real. <laughs> no, nah, man. man, I'm just so proud of you, man. And I, and like I said, a lot of people, you know, uh, they, they don't know this new this new wave of the way the social media pushes you to the forefront to where people are seeing your talent. You When you first do it, you I see you. You just a dude. Before I ever knew you, I'm like, who is this nigga? Here we go. What is this nigga talking about? He going in. Woo, woo, woo. I don't know what it is. I'm telling you how people look at it. And then you see it now and you see it developed. And you like, oh, that's what it was, bro. Because it's so much into all the stuff that you've done, man, them seeds that you planted. Now you just seeing the harvest. 
Real yeah, talk for sure. Hold on, I missed that. Um, Kevin Hart, what you doing with Kevin Hart again? No, no, I'm working with some people that that work with him. him oh, family. okay. I, I'm working. I'm finna, Lord say the same. I'm going to work with a guy that's res- helped him in his career, Keith Robinson. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Have, uh, Does that mean movies and stuff? Oh, that's coming. You see what I'm saying? That's movies. SNL. All that. I can see you on SNL. Oh, yeah, you can do all that. Come on, man. So is that your, because, you know, everybody has an end game. Or I should say, because, you know, some of us, when we have an end game, but when you get to the end game, you still have another higher than that. But as far as you can see, what is your end game? Like, where you want to be? Where do you see yourself? I'm not going to even put a time limit on this. No, you can't. No time because things have been moving fast for you. Quick. But what is your ultimate goal? Where when you oh, get to that point, my ultimate goal is to is is to do what Kevin Hart did, sell out Madison Square Garden. I want to okay. ring. I want to do a ringers. I want to be able to fly my family in and let them see this shit. Okay. You know, just to experience what I'm experiencing. I want to fly my family in to eat this type of pizza mm-hmm. or hamburger. I seen him buy all this home, but Kevin Hart mm-hmm. took him bought. You know, I'm an old school collector, so Kevin Hart took him bought all his old homeboys. Everybody on his team, old school classic cars. Mm-hmm. I seen him do that. I said, this is hard. Now, everybody get a car. He like Oprah Winfrey of the, mm-hmm. of the classic car mm-hmm. game. You know, I was so impressed by the fact that he appreciated his, his team in that way. He wouldn't be where he had without him. And he know it. He wouldn't be what he had without them. And that's me. I don't. Um, I'm never gonna forget who helped me. They might not be with me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna never forget. Never them. forget them, man. So a lot of time when people see people not with you, they think you forgot them. Yeah. But they don't know. A lot of time people be still taking care of them people. That's real. You know what I'm that's saying? real. Yeah. Because everybody can't go with you. Everybody ain't gonna go with you. Either. Fact. So. With that being said, man. Um, once again, God is good, man. Man, he great, bro. Check it, man. Hey, man. Shoot, before you get off, any other breaking news? Because he, he got so many that he might have forgot one. Oh, once again, I'm always going <laughs> to shout him out. I got to shout my boy out. He in Dallas. Shout out to Anthony Corbin. If you need a movie role, like any sitcom He role, came with us. Remember that? Anthony mm-hmm. Corbin. Over to the, the Danny's. Anthony Corbin. Reach out That's to Anthony that, Corbin. Reach out to that oh, young yeah. black man. That's his boy. Reach wow. out to that young black man. And uh, the young man is a great writer. I, yeah. I really want to, man, I'm, I'm going to try my best to get him in contact with Tyler Perry and them. They need to sit down and pick this boy brain because mm. the boy can write. Mm. He really, the boy can really write, man. He came in with me on the skit. Yeah, he wrote. I had that over there. Uh, and he him do organized it. stuff, too. I went and got in the truck. I went and got stuff. in the truck. I don't have to do nothing, though. No. Yeah, he wrote my, um, the friend room home stuff for me. He did? Yeah, when we sit down and talked about it, I told him how I would like it. He wrote that. And got it back to me in like two weeks. We're fast. I'm ready to go. How important is it to be writing your skits out compared to just freestyling? Well, I don't write skits. You know, I just freestyle skits. Okay. But this movie thing I'm doing is okay. it's gotta, different. It's different. It gotta be. It, wrote, it gotta be wrote mm-hmm. out. But I have a skit that's wrote, and I just gotta film it. It's dope. Mm. But it's more like. A movie, more like a movie, like a short film. Mm. But these skits that, that that you usually were doing, they're three to five minutes. Yeah, it's something to get a people. people some, yeah, just to be in their face. Wow, mm-hmm. so that's hard. Get some man. content. Man. But I'm so much, and I don't want to sound crazy when I'm saying this, but you know, people take it the wrong. I'm so much bigger than skits. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But that's what made me. Mm. But I'm so much bigger than that now. I'm, I need to be on the red eyes. You yeah, 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 yeah. I need to be in front mm-hmm. of the the. In the in it's house. your next level. Just yeah. accept your next level. Just like when you started out doing the forty years, and then the trash you elevated from that to trash. Now you know you're going up. Well, you know, I, and I hate to plug you in right here, but here I come with that mess. See, I can't sell. I got players. So, uh, face on text me with that last night by twelve o'clock, telling me about on this internet and uh listen man i'm just gonna tell you right now now you about to step into his world really where you gonna be getting these checks from the movies <laughs> now you can do it both ways right yeah. but like like it's funny to me man how he can switch like it's a whole nother level to his to what he does you see what i'm saying as far as the movie thing go mm-hmm. but if I, but if i'm but you know when i step into his world i'm really getting some checks though mm-hmm. see what i'm saying i ain't talking about no mimi tata <laughs> Man, you know, I, I ain't gonna, and after y'all, you, we did all these interviews, and you know, the comedy and all that, you know how crazy they went. You watch how crazy my stuff go. All right, 
he put me on the phone with uh, 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 the lady. The, 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 it's your lady. The Meg, Meg, that's what her name was. He called me on the three way. Meg told me that they paying dental insurance for, and I'm about to interview him again too in a few weeks. But Meg say they pay them on residual dental insurance, uh, uh, health insurance mm -hmm. at bi weekly checks. Mm -hmm. I got the scoop on all of you. <laughs> you don't have to think that all of that comes from residuals. I don't know nothing about it. So I'm like, damn. Really? I love the hell out of Bezos, man. Tell Fez I'm with Affleck. Tell Fez I'm with Affleck. <laughs> man, do you got the Fez on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This he, is all love. Man, it's so much love. That's what people don't understand. That's why I, I had the conversation. I don't take that serious. You know, a lot of people be like him and Country Wayne. Man. <laughs> Everybody getting money, man. Exactly. Everybody. Exactly. Everybody getting money, but they ain't in that money different. <laughs> Do you hear me? It's different. different. It'll make some stuff flip on it. In a minute. <laughs> man, I love Better it. respect it. If you want, it'll make you respect yeah. it right. Do you hear me? <laughs> you Pull up on what y'all pulling up in. You know what I'm saying? And, and doing it though. That's that's what's so cold about it. I see a lot of whole entrepreneurship going on. I love it, Me bro. Too. Me I too. love seeing our people get into the bag, man. man my grandma was talking about getting hugged out of the podcast. What? Mm. I'm pulling up. Don't play with me. Gumless pad. <laughs> man check it man hey man thank you so much we love you yes, bubba sir. dub yes, say man it's been another great segment of boss talk 101 you know i'm looking at the camera now where the bosses talk <laughs> <laughs>